sorry I've been slacking on the videos, but my little girl came early. So we'll have to introduce you guys to that some other time. But for now, we're going to get into some stock market analysis. OK, we're going to do some technical analysis for the SPY, Qs, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, NVIDIA and AMD today. And let's get right into it. And since we missed out on yesterday's video, kind of had some adjusting to do, not going to lie. But we do have those ranges up for you, okay? You do have 50187 to the upside on the SPY, and you do have 486.83 to the downside. And if you were a part of my Patreon, I did make sure to get these out to you yesterday. And I actually noticed there was a slight mistype on um, one of them in video, so I did repost that. So check back, make sure those are correct on your charts. And the overall thing that I wanted to point out on the SPY today was... The fact that we did have this divergence and we see this sell off coming in, right? We see this big red bar come in. Um, and this is where we really want to talk about that negative versus positive territory, right? So we need to remain in negative territory on those shorter time frames to see more downside. But we got right back into positive. That means more positivity. So hopefully you caught on to that. I know I wish I would have put out a video, but a little busy. Now, um, the, the real big lesson that we can learn from the SPY is kind of what we were talking about with Amazon a week or two ago with that two hour chart. We really have to be patient and wait for these divergences to confirm. You notice I even said I was like, it really looks like it's going to confirm. We get some good numbers from Amazon and things like that. We see that extension upward. Um, once this does confirm, I do believe it will be bad news for the market. So pay attention to that and how this actually could break down if you just wanted to look at it. Um, I really think if this rolls over with this big divergence up here on the MACD and RSI at the same time, most likely what we're doing is we're going to come test the bottom of this monthly range. This is that monthly range for uh, February, and we need to pay attention to that. OK, 465.59 to the downside, 517 to the upside and how this would look if it wanted to break down from this area and real quick we are still in positive trends on those shorter time frames uh, so we could see this extend up before we actually see that drop make sure to pay attention and wait and be patient for this to cross but we could see this start to fall off pretty quick with this little bit weak bar right now and maybe we actually come down into this area into that area of the bottom side of that monthly expected move and we actually get a little bounce from there maybe with some kind of cutting narrative coming in and we actually see some kind of head and shoulders and at this point we start to uninvert which always means bad news for the market and I was going to show you the 30 minute on the spy but let's move on to the cues and we do have those ranges up for you as well that would be 433.54 to the upside and 414.08 to the downside if you didn't get those monthly expected move it's 395.19 to the downside and 438.75 to the upside for the whole month of February this is what the options market has priced in and 68% of the time we do close within these weekly ranges um, by the by Friday close and then 68% of the time we do close within in these yellow lines uh, by close at the end of the month okay so that's something to pay attention to but right now I really wanted to point out the fact you know how you knew this wasn't going to see a further breakdown we never got that second curl down in my video we really talked about hey this is a good sell-off but if we curl back up we need that to break down one more time to solidify this as a negative trend we needed this MACD to roll back down and continue that negativity and stay down in negative territory that didn't happen. We got into positive territory. We remained in positive territory. This is where you know, hey, I need to take some shorts off the table and things like that. So it's funny how we moved up from here. We actually see like a little mini head and shoulders right in here. And then right now we're actually making another one. We have this whole left over here. We can draw this kind of across like that. We do have a head and we do have a right shoulder at this point. So if this wanted to go up, I believe this it would use this type of structure, collect this in here and go upward. That would be a bullish take. And then the bearish take for this would just be we're going to, you know, see some negativity, maybe with some kind of ABC pattern step in. And then we'll have to go from there. But the main point here is you really need to remain in that negative territory for the dramatic selling to continue. And I do think it's like all the signals are flashing red right now. Apple on the hourly, I, I think this is pretty good to look at here because we know Apple likes to do a certain thing when it comes to these important zones, right? We gapped out of this zone and things like that. And we actually see that resistance come back in over here. We gap up into it and we see that strength. So what Apple likes to do in these zones is it likes to pop up and then touch it and then sometimes explode. Now, in this case, we had that flagging and then we had the, the earnings that actually saw a little bit of a drop off. Um, but we were able to buy back up. The point being here is this could be that little test of this area for those sellers to step back in before we break a very important trend line. 
So Apple does like to, you know, come out of a zone and then go back in it and then see more dramatic selling. It happens the same uh, the other direction as well with buyers. Um, the main thing that I'm paying attention to is this MACD. Notice that the MACD on Apple is still near that negative territory, and this would roll over. That would continue this negative trend, meaning we're most likely going to test this level right in here or try to cut below and cut down below this trend line. So that's what I'm really paying attention to in Apple. But just like the market uh, did over the last couple of days, if this wants to be positive and remain in positive territory, we can see further positive uh, you know, price action with Apple. Amazon is just exploding after earnings, and this easily could just be consolidation, right? We're in positive territory. We could see more positivity out of this. I'd really be paying attention to um, those weekly expected moves if you do see that further positivity. The important thing to pay attention to with Amazon on this hourly chart is the fact that we've been remaining in positive territory. We see this dip down into negative territory. And what did we say right here? Well, it looks like we could roll back over. If the earnings are bad, then we're going to remain in negative territory. And that's really um, where the dramatic selling comes in. If we want to look back at Tesla a couple videos ago. Um, but this is why I do not trade around the earnings. We don't know what numbers they're going to produce. We don't know what guidance they're going to produce. So I, I think I even stated this early last week. I'm staying away from Amazon is what I overall said, because you never know what can happen when it comes to earnings. Apple didn't have the, the best earnings reaction, but you see Amazon actually, I, I want to measure this. Amazon had a bounce of say 7.69% in one day. Okay. So that is something to pay attention to. You're still in positive territory. If this wants to continue to consolidate, we could see more positivity. Um, really just waiting for this to actually get into negative territory and stay there. Now, Tesla is a good one to talk about today because we saw that dramatic sell off with the earnings. And then we were like, when is this thing going to bounce? And, and it really did fill this cup. We saw that little bounce. But then you notice it rolls over in negative territory. This is kind of what we're talking about with Apple. Um, if you just think Apple is actually at this stage right here where it has a decision, is it going to go up and see some positivity and go like this? Or is it going to act like Tesla and we're going to see that roll over and get a red bar on the histogram, go into negative territory, test this low, make a new one. Guess what? Tesla has made a new one. Now, what's important to pay attention to as of right now is we could be getting some kind of divergence down here. OK, there could be some kind of divergence forming. And if this wants to confirm and get into positive territory, we can see more positivity. So at this point, we have to pay attention to um, the possibility of a bigger bounce in Tesla. But there also is a bearish case here where we do, you know, close this cupping in here. And this could just be some kind of handle to then head lower. So we really have to pay attention to the price action as of right now. But in the overall market, we are in the danger zone. So I'm a little worried about Tesla. Here is NVIDIA. And the big thing with NVIDIA, we were pointing out that this divergence here was at the same time. It got us really close to that negative territory. But guess what? We don't go into negative territory, so we don't see further selling and starting of that negative trend. We don't see that. We actually see another reaction upward. Um, if you're paying attention to those weekly ranges on my Patreon, which the link is down in the description, we're actually at that, uh, that point right now. So this is exactly where that weekly range is. This is what is expected by the options market this week. And we do land within this zone 68% of the time. So I just wanted to state that to you guys. This is where we have to be a little bit cautious as of this week on nvidia now it is in positive territory so if this wants to you know curl down get some consolidation and curl back up you're going to see it test this high or make a new one now if it wants to roll over dramatically and get into negative territory then we can start talking about um, some kind of crashing some kind of negative trend beginning and maybe that wants to break down to this level get some kind of right shoulder and you got a little head and shoulders in here all right Computer messed up for a sec, but you can have some kind of head and shoulders. So this is really what I'm paying attention to. But if it's able to remain in positive territory, we could see further positivity, um, even though the market really looks like it's topping out right now. And this is where I like to pay attention to similar stock. AMD is not making a new high while Nvidia is. So is AMD kind of signaling to us like, hey, this thing does want to roll back into negative territory. And this is some kind of, you know, ABC pattern to head a little bit lower. 
Um, this would be what I'd be paying attention to if I was an AMD trader. Really pay attention to this MACD. If it's able to get into negative territory, you're most likely going to test this low or come, you know, make a retest of this trend line, make a new low. So if this is able to get into negative territory, we could see that negativity come in. But if this wants to keep curling back up in positive territory, we're most likely going to test this high. Um, that's what all I will say at this point. I don't know if we'll make a new high in AMD, but hey, I'm open to all scenarios. Now this sell signal is back right here. Okay, we were talking about how TLT is coming down while the overall market is still going up and we see that solidified again. Okay, so we did see this big pop up where the market itself was popping a little bit up with this as well right around here. Um, and actually this was a hint the other way. So the SPY actually came down uh, while TLT was bouncing. So that's something to pay attention to. But in the last couple days, the SPY has actually gone higher um, while TLT has actually dropped off. So this is a signal to pay attention to and it could be hinting that the smart traders are actually selling while the dumb money is buying. Now, taking a closer look into TLT, what do we notice? Well, we're, we're within negative territory. So if this wants to roll over, we could cut below this low and start heading lower, which means those yields, they're going to go up. And that means bad things for tech stocks. Right now, we haven't seen tech stocks react to the yields going higher. So we really have to pay attention to that because we could be getting some kind of bull trap. So just pay attention to the signal. I know we've been talking about it for like a week or so, um, but it does really help you out to find areas where the topping process might be closing up and we could see a change in trend. So the reason that I am still being very cautious is because this signal is still here on the VIX as well. We do have this divergence on the weekly chart and we're seeing some green bars on the histogram. So once this gets into positive territory, some bad things are going to happen in the market. OK, so this looks like we are starting to top out. The VIX is kind of telling us, hey, th this could be a top right here. So we want to pay attention to that. Toppings do take time, so it could take a little bit of time. But if this gets into positive territory, we're going to see at least a move like this, which means we're going to see some kind of sell off. The next thing I just wanted to bring up was the dollar. The dollar has a similar thing going on where it's actually turning up in positive territory on the weekly and we do have a buy signal at this point so we've seen the market go up and up and let's just pull up a daily so we can see this we've seen the market go up and up over the last week or two and we're noticing that the dollar is actually going up as well and these are negatively correlated so this is interesting to see the important part here we're getting into positive territory we have that weekly that could roll up and it has a buy signal so we could see the dollar gaining some strength which could mean that we're having some problems in the stock market very soon so the main takeaway here is we just noticed that it looks like dumb money is buying while smart money is selling off and really we haven't seen that sell off in tech stocks um, with those yields rising a little bit. So that is something to be a little bit worried about. We have a bunch of talking heads for the Fed coming out this week, and that's what we really need to pay attention to and really pay attention to when the SPY and the Qs really confirm those divergences because that could be our first real sign that this is the top. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry I wasn't able to make some videos, but I've been really busy for a couple of days. All right. So I'm going to try to get out here and, and make more videos throughout the week for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy those ranges. And thank you if you're a part of my Patreon. But thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, doing all that good stuff. It means a lot. Baby's crying, so I got to go. Have a good night. Good luck trading tomorrow. Peace.